I'd like to offer my letter of resignation. I think it'll cost me 12% on my pension, but I'll take it. I'll be out of your hair in two weeks. We're getting down to the wire with For Life, the great show 50 Cent has done. In this episode, we saw a lot of touching moments from several people, Aaron and his lawyer, Senator Buddy Henry. We saw a moment of clarity with Marie and Jasmine where they are kind of figuring out the case for Aaron. And we saw the warden finally have some backbone with that foster, her number one captain and his crooked ass and the breakdown with cash is played by 50 Cent. We're gonna discuss everything that went down in episode nine for life, Barry. If you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notifications, people. A lot of my subscribers said they haven't been getting notifications for my videos because I took some time off. Turn on those notifications. Follow me on Instagram. Let's dive right on to it. So ladies and gentlemen, Aaron, our local hero, he delivers so much swag to this particular show. 50 couldn't have casted a better person to play Aaron. He has this demeanor, this this Denzel Washington style of acting as if Denzel opened up a school for acting and he really keeps this show together. He presents a level of calm, a presence that you just can't take your eyes off of. And in the previous episode of For Life, Henry, his buddy, approaches Aaron with a set of evidence concerning one of the wrongful convicted prison inmates, which could finally, ladies and gentlemen, expose district attorney official and masking for tampering in his upcoming election. And in this episode, Henry was able to convince a cop's wife to testify in the case. Aaron was representing the new guy. Y'all seen them walking down the row. Um, everybody just cheering them on as they was getting ready to go through. When the opposition attempts at eliminating the witness statement fails, Aaron wins this case for this inmate, wrongfully incarcerated, and the dude was in jail for like 40 years. And in the beginning, people, he didn't want to um, testify. He was kind of fighting Aaron because he had lost hope. He had been in jail for like 40 years. He was old, he didn't know. All he knew was his son was out there living his best life. His wife had died. Um, that was very touching. And Aaron was able to inspire hope. And while all that was going on, the warden was interrogating her correctional officer, Foster, about his role in the drug game going on and issues with 50 Cent, played by, played, who's playing Cassius Dawkins. And you know, 50 Cent has been a problem in that jailhouse, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, he done came in, took over. Y'all seen last episode, he beat the hell out of the Aryan Nation. And despite the threats that the warden posed on Foster, he chooses to fight against her, and he says, I'm just going to resign. You ain't got enough evidence on me to prove anything. But, you know, with all this going on, the warden's wife has been having an influence on what's going on in this particular jailhouse, as well as she's running for an, an office against Maskins. And, you know, she calls her very concerned about what's going on in this court case because she's got a lot to lose, which brings us back to Aaron. And because of what Aaron did for this inmate, he was able to free six wrongfully convicted prisoners and has helped him more get more recognition in the media, thus shedding light on the inner workings of the DA office. But with this freedom, his free, Aaron's freedom rather remains um, uncertain because, you know, in the previous episode, we saw him lose a chance at a trial when one of the close friends failed to appear in court to testify. And Aaron is fighting as hard as he can, ladies and gentlemen, to get that freedom. He's doing all he can. Then in a touchy moment between Marie and Jasmine, they were just about to have dinner and Jasmine was on the computer while the boyfriend was on the computer and they was digging up profiles into the girl who overdosed in Aaron's club, leading to his conviction. And they was digging into that because the daughter had started a page basically kind of freeing her father. And 
the boyfriend winds up being the one that finds the information about this girl health record and y'all know mom marie is a nurse she then in turn goes right up to the hospital and you're not supposed to do what she did but she got the information on the girl and we're going to see if that's going to help their case but one of the things that was very touching between um marie and jasmine was jasmine basically going to marie saying what's going on with darius I know you have strong feelings for him. I was wrong to try to convince you to just diss him the way you did. And I thought that was a very grown up moment for the daughter because even though she loves her father, she thought that her mom might be slightly hurt by her not wanting to support him because she wanted her dad to get out. And that showed a big grown up moment on her behalf. Now getting back to Henry, we learned that Henry was a former state senator and the current attorney general was basically his mentor and y'all see him get into it outside the courthouse with his um former mentor and during that time the lady that they brought that wound up helping free the inmate that shit went and got a drink and got drunk and that almost ruined the case for Aaron but y'all see through perseverance they was able to get through it folks we're pretty much down to the wire now and with there only being one episode left, are we gonna ultimately see Aaron take on Maskins? But it looks like what they're brewing is gonna be something big between Aaron and Cassius, who's played by 50 Cent. Um, I don't think we're gonna see Aaron get his freedom in this season, ladies and gentlemen. And if you kinda watch the very tail end of this particular episode, it looked as though Maskins was completely surprised by what happened with that police officer. Like that took him for a surprise. As if he wasn't corrupt. Maybe we're gonna see him take a heel turn and not be as dirty as it presently seems. But then that's gonna leave questions about the warden's wife as she's trying to run for that same attorney general's office. There's a lot of questions that have to be fulfilled between now and the next episode. We've only got one episode left of this show and everything is not gonna be fulfilled in this, com this coming episode. So leave me all your comments about what you're gonna think is gonna happen in the coming episode. Is this gonna be Aaron versus Cassius or is it gonna be Aaron fighting Mas Maskins or are we gonna see maybe um, Cassius turn up the heat on Maskins because Cassius is all about himself. He just wants greed and power, and he's doing anything he can in that jail cell to solidify himself because he don't want his freedom. He feels like he's the man in the jail. And by the way, 50 Cent, bruh, you play a convincing bad guy. I don't even know how I would act if I tried to see you play a straight-laced husband in any episode. Keep doing what you're doing. That's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video. Please comment, subscribe. Get yourself a life game. Share this video. Be sure to turn on notifications so that you guys get my videos all over again. And until that next sex is hell video, I'll see you.